Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all doing well. I have missed you guys so much. I know it's been close to a month since I've sat down and shared a Dollar Tree haul with you guys, but do I have a massive haul for you today? I'm sitting on my floor and I have a half circle of things around me and that's how you know it's going to be a big haul is whenever you see me sitting on the floor um, because I'm just surrounded with Dollar Tree items right now and all of these items are going to be fall and Halloween related and what's crazy is that this doesn't even scratch the surface of what Dollar Tree has put out this year for fall and Halloween and I'm so excited and they have really just outdone themselves this year so just keep in mind that there's way more than what I'm about to show you guys out at Dollar Tree this year and it's so exciting and for those of you that have been wondering where I've been I think I kind of touched on that uh, about a month ago but pretty much my brothers and I had Operation Rescue Grandpa going on. We had a mission. Um, we drove up there to get my grandpa and we packed a house and drove a little over 2,000 miles in less than a week. And I towed a trailer over some of the scariest mountain passes I've ever um, driven on, but we got grandpa home safely to my house. Um, where I can help him. He does need round the clock care. So that's what I've been doing. I've been settling him in and I also have been getting him set up for services um, to get a team of nurses and um, in home services here at my house. So I've been a very busy girl and moving forward, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a Dollar Tree haul once a week, at least for the time being, because I'm getting um, all of his care taken care of and I'm also his primary caregiver so it's basically whenever I have time to film I will do that for you guys but I don't want to make any promises that I'm going to go back to my schedule right now if that makes sense. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into this haul. I'm going to show you guys some um, fall florals and I'm not going to like take too much time on each one of them because I got a lot. I mean a lot. <laughs> So I have a whole bundle that I picked up and this is what I mean. I got a ton of it. It's impossible to take too much time on each one, but I will say some new types of florals that I did pick up or a new color scheme for me are these blue, the blues and purple. So these ones have little pumpkins in them. So I got a couple of those and then I got these that almost look like lavender, but they're calling them fall grass. I got these guys. These are called flocking balls. So I got a like cream colored one, one with a little pop of orange in it. And I think I got a blue one of these as well. Yes. So I did want to start incorporating like more, I guess, non-traditional um, colors like the blues and greens into my fall decor. So I got those. And then of course the foxtails, I get these every year. And then I think these are like mini sunflowers. Then I have, looks like a pomegranate pick right there. And this one is new. I've never seen a hop bush stem before. So I decided to pick that up. I thought that was interesting. So I picked that one up and this pick right here and then this one which would look awesome in like the front of a flower arrangement in a bucket or something. So that was all the floral that I picked up because I have a ton of it in my garage. I didn't really I didn't really need that. I should have probably gone through the things that I already have. Pumpkins, holy pumpkins. I found the jackpot on the velvet pumpkins. I don't think I got my hands on these last year. And it seems like they have more color options. So you have like this navy, navy blue and then an emerald green. And I believe I got two of each of these. And then probably my favorite is this maroon color. So yeah, here's the green and the maroon and then the dark navy. These are just so elegant. Look at the stems on them as well. 
The stems are all gold on these velvet pumpkins. And you could do something really cute with these. You could maybe make a topiary, maybe take, I don't know, the stem off of a couple of them, stack them and put them in like a little galvanized planter pot. And this is another Dollar Tree find as well, the monogrammed buckets. I did get H for my last name. So I think that would be a cute idea. Then I found this gorgeous like pukey yellow. I love, I always say that, but it's like one of my favorite like fall colors. And then this blush pink, which is very beautiful as well. So I think that was all of the velvet pumpkins that I got. And I did pick up a couple of the buffalo chuck pumpkins as well. I, I like buffalo chuck, but I feel like I'm kind of getting, not tired of it, but I want to start thinking outside of buffalo chuck, if that makes any sense. So I only got a couple of those. I found some really awesome fall decorative clips, like jumbo clips. So, and I think I might have purchased these before in a previous haul, but sometimes I don't remember and I end up purchasing things again. But I found these three jumbo clips. These are perfect for wreath making. Makes it easy to put on a wreath and then take it off without hot gluing things. So I picked up those and then I found some for Halloween. So there's two different sections right now um, that I found these things in. There is the fall section, which is a couple of aisles, and then there's the Halloween section. And they are organized by these labels, the color of the label. I believe the fall label has for Crafter Square is a little bit is a, di a little bit different, a little bit different color. So I found purple black, and then I think I got two. Oh no, this one's purple and black. So black and silver, purple and black, and then black and purple. And the, again, these have the alligator clips. In the crafter square section, I found some burlap trim in three different styles. And you get, it looks like a yard of each of the trim. So I went ahead and picked up two. I think these are great for adding embellishments to crafts or sign making, anything like that. Even journaling. So I picked up those. Let me show you guys some signs that I picked up. This one I think is my favorite. It just says every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, apples, and you. And the little pumpkin has a pop-out detail. This is this one's my favorite so far that I've seen. So I picked up that one, then I found this thankful and blessed with the truck on it. And there is glitter, I think, on all of these. And then this welcome. I didn't find, I don't think I found any Halloween signs yet, but I did find the fall ones. And these were awesome. This is probably one of my favorite finds. These wooden plaque or MDF board. I don't know if they are. No, I think they are actually wood. These wooden plaques with the pumpkin cutout and you can hang it like this. So you can make your own sign if you have a Cricut or if you just want to use a chalk pen and hand letter it yourself. So I found the chalkboard option and then the blank or raw wood option. So I thought these were amazing finds. I really hope that Dollar Tree continues this and maybe changes out the cutout for different seasons or even does blank ones without a cutout. I think that would be an awesome option because you always see um, crafters painting over these and making their own signs. And I think Dollar Tree has caught on to that because now they're coming out with blanks. So that's really awesome. And you guys, I found the cutest fairy garden 
I've ever seen at Dollar Tree. And it is Halloween themed. So cute. And I think I got the whole collection because there's four different houses. So I found the laboratory, the little pumpkin trailer. Then you have the vintage cat and then a trick-or-treat witch's house. And if you like to do like, I guess, Christmas villages, but you've always wanted to do a Halloween village like myself, these are awesome to get started because those little Halloween villages, I think they're called uh, by Lennox at Michael's, those are so expensive and they've been on my wish list for years and even after Michaels does their sale I can't I never find them I don't think they discount those um so this is a good way to I guess start a Halloween village if that makes sense so I picked up those and then I did find all of the characters that go with the Halloween village so you have cats, little signs, gravestones, even the gnomes. And then you have some trick-or-treaters and fairies. So I thought that was amazing. I have always loved Dollar Tree's fairy gardens and I feel like they're putting more and more and more collections out. You, you, they used to only do for the spring, do it for the spring, but now I think, did they do one for Christmas last year? I'm pretty sure they did. So now we're seeing Halloween. It's just so crazy how far Dollar Tree has come. I'm so proud of them. And then I found all of the individual figurines. So I'm just going to quickly kind of go through them. And usually on dollartree.com, uh, you can pay a little bit of a discounted price to buy the whole collection. But for some reason, whenever I've tried to do that, they won't ship to my local store for some reason when I try to do that. And I don't want to pay shipping. So I'm so excited about this little fairy garden because I want to start my Halloween village. So I picked up those and Dollar Tree came out with Halloween trees. They've never done this before. Here's what it looks like. I got two of them. So the tree is black and orange and decorating a Christmas tree or decorating a tree has become more popular over the years. A lot of people are now doing fall trees or Easter trees or Valentine's Day trees. Um, I think I'm going to stick to just doing Christmas. I'm going to try this out though. I'm going to try out doing a Halloween tree and maybe incorporate it into a Halloween village. So I was really excited about that. And to go along with the Chris or the I'm sorry Halloween tree I found all of the ornaments that they had available so I found the mini bulbs these come in a pack of 16 in orange purple and black then I found the five pack of the bigger ornaments so these ones are spider webs and this one is eyeballs. So I found those and then I also got lights. So I have purple and orange. These are for indoor use only and they do um, have a steady burn or a flashing. It does include spare bulbs. You get five feet and the wires are black on those. And to go along with the Dollar Tree Village, they came out with Dollar Tree bottle brush trees in the Halloween color. So I did get doubles of these. So do you see what I mean? You can make your own Dollar Tree Halloween Village. You don't need to go buy one of the expensive 
ones that you see maybe at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, you can start creating your own. And I've even seen some crafters turn the Dollar Tree dollhouses in the toy section into haunted houses by painting them. So that's another idea and I definitely want to try that out. So I found those. I picked up these berry picks on a clip strip in three different colors. And it says on here they come with 36 pieces, but I do want to point out that it is just three little bundles in here with 12 balls on them. So these are perfect if you want to add some detail to wreaths for your Halloween wreaths. I picked up those. I found some new holiday fabric scraps. So these are Halloween and then this one is fall. I'll show you guys the fall one first. And these are by Crafter Square. So they could be in your Crafter Square section or they could be uh, where all of the other fall and Halloween decor is. But I found this gorgeous print for fall. And these are perfect if you like to make your own masks if you're good at sewing these would be perfect for that you just have of course have to use a filter in these um, but I found that pattern and then I won't unroll these but these are the Halloween patterns that I found by crafters square so you have the candy corn which is probably my favorite some cats and some colorful jack lanterns so I thought these were amazing these were on my wish list and so I was really excited that I found them. These pumpkin trinket dishes. So I found orange and white. And I think these are perfect if you want to make your own candle, if you have a candle making kit, or even if you melt down a Dollar Tree, one of the tall candles, you could re, I guess, melt it in one of these and give it as a gift. <laughs> Or you could take this to your office at work and put candy in it on your desk. I think that's also cute. So I found those. I did pick up some of these pumpkin LED lights in the fall section. You get three feet in there. These would be really cute on a tiered tray. This is the random item of the haul that doesn't fit with fall and Halloween, but in the pet section, I found a flashlight and waste bag dispenser in one. So I thought that was really cool, especially if you like to take your dog for a walk at night. And they had this available in a bunch of different colors. I think there was pink, blue, black, but I chose green because it's my favorite color. So Dollar Tree has never done this before, at least from the years that I have been shopping out there. They came out with paintable ceramics or paint your own ceramics. So I found a sugar skull for Halloween and then an owl. And you guys, these are, these are heavy. These are nice quality ceramic that you would find probably in a ceramic shop. So I thought this was awesome. My daughter will definitely get a kick out of those. And this is probably, this one item right here, is probably one of my favorite finds like ever and it, when you see it you're gonna be like okay but these little wooden mushrooms in the fall or crafter square section of their fall decor i found these little mushrooms you get eight in here and i just think they're adorable i want to figure out how i can maybe use these in my fairy gardens or maybe make a keychain or something out of them but I found mushrooms, apples, or maybe even for like if you're making a dollhouse or something, these would be cute to kind of maybe decorate the outside of a dollhouse. And then I found acorns. So I thought that was different. I wish they had pumpkins or they might have pumpkins as well. I just didn't see them. So mushrooms, apples, and little wooden acorns. I just thought they were adorable. I couldn't pass them up. I picked up those and then I also picked up a package of these mini white velvet pumpkins. No stem on these, just little pumpkins. And then I also picked up these white stems as well. Did I already show this when I was showing you guys the floral? I can't 
I can't remember, but there it is again if you did see it. All right, in the, I guess, garden department for fall, I found these metal decor stakes, all pumpkins, and I love this orange. It's perfect. They nailed it with this, and it even has textured or embossed metal. So I found that color, which is my favorite, the traditional orange. Then I found this deep copper color as well. And then probably my least favorite, which would be this one. I wish they would have just kept it maybe white or maybe did brown instead of this bright yellow in there. I just feel like it's makes it look a little off. But those were the three stakes metal decor sticks that I found. Super cute. And then I found this adorable little wheelbarrow. Farm fresh pumpkins. This would look really cute in the center of a wreath. Or if you could figure out maybe a way to stand it up, that would be cute too. So I found that. These next items aren't I, I guess you could find these all year round, but I got more of these oven mitts. I talk about them all the time. I like to decal them with my Cricut and I chose black because I want to make some Halloween ones. So I picked up two of those. Also a black dish drying mat for the month of October. I got two of these serving trays because I just think they look very haunted house. I feel like I could put up a, an apothecary display or something and make it look like an old haunted house or something. That's where my mind was going. And I got that idea based off of this tablecloth. When I saw this pattern or this design on here, it immediately reminded me of the haunt, Disney's haunted mansion. So that's kind of where I was going with, with like the the trays, I guess, reminded me of maybe a butler or I don't know, but I definitely saw Haunted Mansion with this and I did get the round, um, the round mat and they do have oblong in different sizes on the back, but I did get that to decorate our table for Halloween. All right. So I think I went a little bit overboard on the wooden cutouts because there, there are so many here and I just now realized that I have a problem. <laughs> but I found this bat and a coffin. When I saw these, I was just like DIY, Cricut. I could do something really cool with these, paint them. I don't know if I'll have time to do all of the things that I want to do in my head, but I picked them up anyways. And then I found the truck with the pumpkins and Mr. and Mrs. Frank, no, Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. I found those and just the level of detail in some of these, like this one. Dollar Tree has never done anything this delicate and intricate before with their wooden cutouts. I mean, and I've seen a ton of DIYs like shirt spray bleach DIYs with these. All you need is a t-shirt, some bleach, set this down on top and then use a spray bottle and bleach it. And then you have this silhouette. So I've seen that a lot. And I got a few different haunted houses. I don't know why. I think I was, I'm trying to remember why I got this many different haunted houses, to be honest. I think it's because I wanted to try to make a village. When I saw the the Halloween fairy garden village. I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a full blown haunted house village or something. So I picked up three different, three different ones. Then I found this pumpkin, a pumpkin without the slots. And then the witch, which has been out, which has been out for a few years. So I think that is all of, good gracious, all of the <laughs> wooden decor pieces. 
I picked up some more spiders. I get these every year, the spiders on the clips. They're just really fun to decorate with. And I did pick up a pack of purple, even though I might not, might not use these. So I picked up those as well as the bats. These are one of my favorite purchases every year is the bats on the clip strip. And I, I decorate all over my house with the little glitter bats. So I got two more packs of the glitter bats as well. It's just fun to make them look like they're like flying and spreading out on a wall, which is really fun. So I picked up two packs of those. This is a new item. These bags of bones, you get 36 and they are like styrofoam with glitter on them. I don't know what I'm gonna use these for, but again, I think I was maybe thinking Halloween Village or something. That's all I was thinking about at Dollar Tree, I swear, was just making a Halloween Village somehow out of all this stuff. And then, oh, I'm sorry, one more wooden piece. This is a wooden skeleton and he's attached by jump rings. So that was pretty cool. Picked him up and some wooden DIY stickers. They come out with a variation of these every single year. This year we have more pumpkins and on the back they have a little sticky on there for DIYs. And then this one, so I found those, but oh my gosh, let me show you the cutest stickers that I've ever seen for fall and Halloween. Oh my gosh, like this one. Dollar Tree follows trends because this whole leopard print pumpkin thing is very, very much on trend with, especially with clothing. So I found that one, then the gnomes, some fall gnomes, and he's drinking Starbucks. They even tried to make the cup look like Starbucks, which I thought was such a nice touch. This one, so cute. The stickers, you guys know if you've been with my channel, is one of my favorite things at Dollar Tree to haul and collect is just stickers. Even if I don't use them, just to look at them make, makes me happy. Something about stickers. This one, I saw the only thing getting lit this weekend are my scented candles, <laughs> which I thought was really funny right here. You have some pumpkin pie, you have your Bath and Body Works pumpkin spice candle. So well done with the candles. I'm sorry, with the stickers. I'm thinking about Bath and Body Works now. And now I have some Halloween stickers. So these ones are kind of that hard material. I know it's really hard to see with the glare with my ring light, but I am filming in the late afternoon, but these are perfect if you're into scrapbooking or friend mail or pocket letters, anything like that. These are really cute to decorate mail as well. Then I found these. I love, love stickers. Can't say enough good things about stickers. And I picked up some of these bows. These are different. I don't think they've ever put a little mini skull in these bows before. These are not the alligator clip style. These are tie-on, but still perfect for wreath making. And I think, is that the end of this haul? Oh no, I have a few more things. Okay, I like more wooden decor. So I didn't find like the big Halloween signs but I did find these, I guess, mini signs. I think they're meant to be used as like door, door swag. So I found this one. Welcome to our haunted home, the witch's inn. I found those and then I found these ones. Witch's inn and happy Halloween. So found those and the very last items yeah, that's it. I went through all that stuff. Very last items, I just picked up some of this mesh 
to make a wreath. So I just picked up black and purple because I think I want to do a witch theme um, wreath this year. All right, guys, so that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I appreciate your support so much. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and stay safe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.